Then this is question number 1.4 from Erodo problems of physics. Here I have drawn the graph little bit correction I have taken here. Along this is 10, this is 20. Along the y axis this is 1.0, this is 2.0. You can write 2.0. First of all you have to calculate the list count along time axis means to say x axis. There are 5 divisions equal to 10, 1 division is equal to 10 by 5 that is 2. Along y axis, one small division is equal to 5, and 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2. Along the y axis, this count is 0 0.2. Let's see the first part of the question. In first of the question, you need to calculate the average velocity. Here, average velocity can, can be calculated on this point where it will show the zero slope. Let's see this average velocity. That is, velocity is uh, perpendicular upon this, I mean to say 10 theta, and here it is. When you draw the triangle over here, it will be perpendicular, that will be 2 and that will be the base that is 20 and finally you will get 0 0.1 meters per second. This will be the average velocity in this question. Now second part here, let us see in the question second part, maximum velocity. How do you calculate the maximum velocity? Maximum velocity means if slope is maximum, if slope is maximum, because this is position time graph, if you get the maximum velocity, I need maximum slope. Here maximum slope can be written, can be written at, let us see where is maximum slope, this may be this point and this is 1, 1.2, 1.4, this will be 1.4 if you multiply this point. And in this particular point you need to calculate time also that will be ten right here ten approximately 40 because two digits are there division is 2 2 plus 2 4 so that's why you have this kind of the triangle over here you can write this kind of the triangle you will find tangent theta is this upon this that is 1.4 that will be 1.4 minus 0 0.4 whole divided by 14 minus 10 and you will get the answer 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 means 25 centimeter per second sorry it is written centimeter here and now third part of the question in third part of the question Time moment that is denoted at which the instantaneous velocity become equal to average velocity. It means V instantaneous V instantaneous is equivalent to V average. Then slope of line joining an initial point will be same on the curve. I mean to say, simplest technique is that you have to draw the tangent. You have to draw the tangent. If you draw the tangent over here, tangent maximum you will find over here, like this. This is the tangent. At this point, when you see carefully, this point is let us see this point. This point is 16, 16 second. At 16 second, you will get what? Velocity, that is instantaneous velocity, become equivalent to at this point, special. At this point, instantaneous velocity become equivalent to average velocity. Students, you need to develop your concept first, then you can easily understand my solution. Little bit basic knowledge you just develop 
and after that it become very easy to understand my solution because this is very very simplest technique which you are getting here thank you very much